We live our entire lives under its rule, barely thinking about the star that makes everything possible. The sun. It's no peaceful light in the sky. It's a raging nuclear giant, 150 million kilometers away, and still powerful enough to control every second of our existence. A churning sphere of plasma tearing through space with flares that could swallow planets, twisting magnetic fields like strands of thread. It sets our clocks, drives our weather, fuels all life on Earth. And yet, we barely notice it. That warm glow? Just the surface. Beneath it lies one of the most violent, unpredictable forces in the known universe. The Sun isn't just the center of our solar system. It's the cosmic engine that decides our fate, and it's hiding in plain sight. For thousands of years, the Sun wasn't just a light in the sky, it was more than that. Some civilizations worshipped it, some feared it, and some built entire belief systems around it. To the Egyptians, it was Ra, the god of all life. The Greeks imagined Helios riding a flaming chariot across the heavens. Even monuments like Stonehenge were aligned to its rise and fall. But today, we've traded myths for machines. Satellites, space probes, and high-tech telescopes that let us stare directly into the sun's blazing heart. And yet, even now, it keeps throwing us curveballs. The more we learn, the more we realize. We've only scratched the surface of this star's true power. The sun is more than a bright light in the sky. It's a blazing engine of life. Today, we're diving into its fiery core, exploring solar flares, and so much more. We're heading straight into the heart of our star. Let's begin. We're starting our journey at the edge of the sun with something you've probably seen, but never fully understood, the corona. It's that ghostly halo that appears during a total solar eclipse, like a glowing crown around the darkened sun. But don't be fooled by its beauty. This outer layer is wild. It extends millions of kilometers into space and burns at temperatures hotter than the sun's surface. And the deeper we look, the stranger it gets. Eclipses give us just a brief, magical peek at the sun's outer layer. But space telescopes like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, they're watching 24-7. Using wavelengths our eyes can't even detect, they reveal a hidden universe of solar activity. It's like putting on high-tech goggles that let us see the sun as we've never seen it before. Alive, unpredictable, and absolutely mesmerizing. And here's where the sun throws us a real curveball. By tapping into specific wavelengths of ultraviolet light, we unlock a hidden world, a side of the sun you can't see with your eyes. Suddenly, the corona isn't just a glowing haze. It's a maze of magnetic structures, with massive loops stretching across the surface and hot spots pulsing with energy. At 17.1 nanometers, we see the quieter side, graceful magnetic arcs looping through space. But shift to 19.3 nanometers and things heat up, literally, revealing regions tied to powerful solar flares. It's like peeling back the sun's layers each wavelength exposing a new secret in this blazing puzzle. Logic says, the farther you get from a heat source, the cooler it should be, right? But not on the sun. Its outer atmosphere, the corona, is hundreds of times hotter than the surface below. It's like walking away from a fire and suddenly getting burned worse. Scientists call this the coronal heating problem. And to this day, no one fully knows what's causing it. One leading idea? Nano flares. Tiny but constant explosions scattered across the sun's surface, 
unleashing bursts of energy too small to see, but powerful enough to supercharge the corona. Another theory suggests waves of energy rippling up from deep within the sun, somehow transferring heat into the outer layers. Whatever the cause, cracking this mystery won't just change how we see the sun, it could reshape everything we know about stars. The sun might look calm from 93 million miles away, but don't be fooled. It's kind of a drama queen. Beneath that glowing surface, it's constantly boiling with energy, and every now and then, it loses it. We're talking massive solar flares, huge bursts of energy unleashed when tangled magnetic field lines snap and reconnect. These flares are the most powerful explosions in our entire solar system. Forget Hollywood, this is real cosmic firepower. Picture the sun's magnetic field like a chaotic ball of rubber bands, stretched, tangled, and under serious tension. Now imagine one of those bands snapping, but instead of a twang, it triggers an epic release of energy, a solar flare. We're talking a detonation so massive, it's like setting off billions of hydrogen bombs all at once. It's not just space weather, it's a cosmic tantrum. Now imagine the sun just hurling a giant bubble of plasma and magnetic energy straight into space, like a cosmic cannonball. That's a CME, or coronal mass ejection. These solar eruptions can blast through space at millions of kilometers per hour. And if one slams into Earth, buckle up. It can mess with satellites, blackout power grids, and fry communication systems. Back in 1859, a massive CME, called the Carrington Event, lit up the skies with aurora all the way down to Cuba and wreaked havoc on the telegraph system. If that same thing hit us today, we're talking trillions of dollars in damage. That's why scientists are watching the sun like hawks, trying to predict when the next big one is coming. In February 2022, something wild happened. A solar storm, nothing extreme, just a moderate one, slammed into Earth's magnetic field. The result? 40 Starlink satellites got knocked out of orbit and burned up in the atmosphere. Just like that. It was a wake-up call. Our high-tech space systems are way more vulnerable to solar tantrums than we thought. But here's the exciting part. Scientists are fighting back with cutting-edge tools. They're using machine learning to scan the sun's magnetic data, hunting for patterns that could warn us when a flare is about to erupt. Think of it as space weather forecasting, powered by AI. Not everything the sun throws at us is dangerous. In fact, some of it is downright magical. The sun is constantly blowing out a stream of charged particles, what we call the solar wind. And when that wind hits Earth's magnetic field just right, boom, you get one of the most breathtaking shows on the planet. The Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis, the northern and southern lights. It's not just pretty, it's a full-on cosmic dance between the Earth and its star. Space weather meets natural wonder and it's absolutely stunning. So what's actually behind those glowing waves in the sky? It's all thanks to the solar wind, charged particles from the sun that get pulled toward Earth's magnetic poles. When they slam into atoms in our atmosphere, they excite them, literally. And that energy gets released as light. That's what paints the sky with those surreal greens, pinks, and purples. But here's the thing. This dazzling light show is also a reminder of just how important Earth's magnetic field is. It's our invisible shield, protecting us from a non-stop barrage of solar radiation. Without it, the sun would strip away our atmosphere like peeling an orange, and Earth would be unrecognizable and uninhabitable. Ever wonder why the northern lights come in different colors? It all comes down to chemistry in the sky. 
When solar particles hit our atmosphere, they excite different atoms, and each one lights up in its own signature color. Green is the most common. That's oxygen doing its thing at lower altitudes. Red? That's oxygen too, but way higher up. And those rare blues and purples? That's nitrogen joining the party. But the aurora isn't just eye candy, it's data. The brightness, the colors, even how far they stretch across the sky can tell scientists a lot about the solar wind, how fast it's moving, how dense it is. So next time you see the sky glowing, remember, it's not just a light show, it's the sun sending us a message. Just below the sun's outer layers, the corona and the chromosphere is what we call the photosphere. Sounds technical, but here's the cool part. It's the part of the sun we actually see with our eyes. But don't let that calm glow fool you. Up close, it's anything but peaceful. This surface is a wild boiling ocean of plasma, constantly bubbling, churning and shifting like a living, breathing thing. It's raw, relentless energy in motion. The sun isn't just shining, it's roaring. Take a closer look at the sun's surface, the photosphere, and you'll notice it's not smooth at all. It's covered in tiny flickering cells called granules. But these aren't just patterns, they're massive convection cells, each one bigger than entire countries. What you're seeing is hot plasma rising up from deep inside the sun, cooling off at the surface, then sinking back down, over and over. It's like watching a pot of boiling water. Except the bubbles are the size of Texas, and instead of water, it's superheated plasma. This constant rise and fall creates a living, breathing surface that never stays still, not even for a second. Now, let's talk about the sun's beauty marks, sunspots. These are dark patches on the surface, cooler than their surroundings, and they're no accident. They show up where the sun's magnetic field gets really intense, so intense it actually shuts down the normal flow of hot plasma rising from below. Sunspots usually roll in pairs or clusters, like storm systems on a solar scale. At the center is the darkest part, the umbra, surrounded by a lighter, fuzzy halo called the penumbra. Think of it as a cosmic bruise caused by magnetic chaos. And where you find sunspots, something big is usually brewing. Sunspots aren't just random. They follow a pattern. The sun goes through an 11-year cycle swinging between calm and chaos. During the peak, called the solar maximum, the surface is littered with sunspots, and the sun is throwing tantrums left and right. Solar flares, CMEs, the whole cosmic fireworks show. But here's where it gets really interesting. Between 1645 and 1715, something weird happened. Sunspots all but vanished during a period called the Maunder Minimum. And at the same time, Europe plunged into a deep chill known as the Little Ice Age. Rivers froze, crops failed. It suggests a fascinating connection. When the sun quiets down, Earth's climate might change too. So how do sunspots actually form? Scientists are diving into that mystery using powerful computer simulations, basically digital suns, built with advanced physics and raw computing power. What they're seeing is wild. Sunspots form when massive bundles of magnetic field lines rise up from deep inside the sun, punching through the surface like magnetic geysers. It's not just guesswork anymore. We're watching the sun's magnetic skeleton in action, in real time, thanks to cutting edge models that are helping us understand the hidden mechanics of our star. We can't exactly look inside the sun. It's a giant ball of plasma, after all. But scientists have found a clever workaround. Helioseismology. 
It's basically the science of listening to the sun. The sun constantly rumbles with sound waves rippling through its interior. And by studying those waves, scientists can map out what's going on beneath the surface. Think of it like giving the sun an ultrasound. Except instead of scanning a baby, we're peering into the heart of a star. It's cosmic eavesdropping at its finest. By listening to the sun's surface vibrations, yes, actual waves rippling across it, scientists can uncover what's happening deep inside. It's like decoding a star's heartbeat. This technique, helioseismology, has pulled back the curtain on the sun's inner structure. Let's listen to what the sun actually sounds like as captured and released by NASA. What they've found is a layered powerhouse. At the core, there's the radiative zone, where energy slowly leaks outward through radiation. Above that, the convective zone, where hot plasma churns and bubbles like a boiling pot. And right between them, a mysterious boundary called the tachocline, a thin, turbulent layer scientists believe is the engine room for the sun's magnetic field. It's a peek into the sun's secret machinery, and it's only just the beginning. The sun might look like just a big glowing ball in the sky, but under the surface, it's a nuclear powerhouse with some mind-blowing stats. It's made up of about 70% hydrogen and 27% helium, with a dash of heavier elements thrown in. At its core, a scorching 16 million degrees Celsius, hot enough to crush atoms together in a constant fusion reaction. And get this, it's over 150 times denser than water down there. To understand how all this fiery chaos generates the sun's powerful magnetic field, scientists are using something called helioseismology, basically listening to the sun's internal vibrations. This helps us study the solar dynamo a still mysterious engine driven by spinning plasma and magnetic turbulence that powers solar flares and space weather across the solar system. The sun isn't just some glowing dot in the sky. It's a living, breathing monster of cosmic energy, a swirling, explosive sphere of fire that shapes everything from the weather on Earth to the fabric of the solar system. From its violent surface, eruptions to the mysterious depths of its core, the sun is a masterpiece of nature, beautiful, chaotic, and still largely unexplored. Despite everything we've learned, it keeps its biggest secrets buried deep inside. And maybe that's what makes it so mesmerizing. It's not just our star, it's our connection to the cosmos. So, the next time sunlight hits your face, Remember, you're feeling the afterglow of a 4.6 billion year old nuclear engine burning through space to keep us alive. It's more than just warmth. It's a direct connection to something ancient, powerful, and still full of secrets. The sun fuels life, drives our weather, and lights up our world. But we've barely scratched the surface of what it truly is. What will we uncover next? One thing's for sure, the universe isn't done surprising us.